So the Tfilas HaShiloh HaKadosh, very famous Tfilah that many, many parents from all walks of life say this Tfilah on Erev Rosh Chodesh Sivon. It's said with Gavaldige Kavono, with heart. We're asking Hashem to give our give us children, our children should be Tamid Chachomim, Yerei Shemai, Mavda Hashem, Balamidas Toivas, and everything that we want from our children. And the Shiloh HaKadosh Raish that this Tfilah is, should be said anytime, every day. But especially on Erev Rish Chaydash Sivan, the Shiloh Kaddish writes the reason why he feels that way. But many Swarim say that there's a Medrash. Medrash says that before Hashem gave us the Torah, Hashem asked for a Revim. Hashem wants a guarantee. Hashem is not just giving the Torah for that generation that came out from Mitzrayim. He wants the Torah should stay forever, for all generations, until Mashiach comes. And Kaliso came up with different guarantors, Avram Yitzchak Yaakov and others, and Hashem rejected them until Kal Yisrael said, "Beneinu arevim lano." Our children will be the guarantee that Torah and Yiddishkeit will stay forever. Several explanations, but one of them is that we are going to be mechanechat children. We're going to make sure that we'll give our children a Yiddish education. And make sure that the, to give over the Messiah from generation to generation, and our children will make sure that the Torah in Yiddishkeit stays forever. And therefore, since Chodesh Sivan, that's the, the month of Kabbalah Satoira, and we need, in order to have that Kabbalah Satoira, we need that guarantee. So we're asking Hashem to help us with that, to help us with that important Heiliger mission of having our children being the guarantee that the Torah in Yiddishkeit keeps on going stronger and stronger from generation to generation. So there's a Gemara Masechus in the Dorm of Pe'alef. The Gemara says, we ask the question, how can we find sometimes Erlecha people, Tamid HaChachamim, that their children are not like them? That their children are not Tamid HaChachamim, they're not, they're not like the parents, not like what the parents wishes that they should have been. And the Gemara says that the reason is, She'ein mevorchem b'toyret chelo. They don't say berchas ha'toyret. The Gemara goes on that that's the reason also why the Charm Beis Hamikdash happened. Shlag Baruch Hebatayre Tchila. There are many many explanations on that Gemara. I just want to take out four Pshatim and four Yisoidus that is very important. All four of them in Chinuch and in uh, helping our children grow to become Tamid Chachamim Yirei Shemaim Eved Hashem Balamidus like everything that we ask in this Tfilos Hashilo. What many say, the first Peshat, many say is in Berchus HaTorah there's a tefillah, a very powerful tefillah. We're asking Hashem that our children should be Yehudah Shemecha V'loim B'Torah Secha L'Shema. And without tefillah we can't get anything. There's nothing. The Rebbe Shem has ready for us brachas and ashpahs. wants to give us. The Rebbe Shem wants to be mashpia. Especially children, Elecha children, to, the Torah should have a continuity, should, the Torah should continue on, of course. The Rebbe Hashem wants to give it to us, but we have to ask for it. We have to daven for it. And Birchus HaTorah, there's a tefillah from Vaharavna, a very powerful, important tefillah, Vaharavna, Hashem Alekheinu, in Memele, if we don't daven, we don't get it. And that's Shlebarcha B'Tayr Tefillah, they didn't say, they didn't daven, they didn't ask for children. So actually there's a question that many ask, a very stark Akasha. You know, in Shemin Esra, Anshik Nesas Agdoyla set us up a Shemin Esra. Tfilos, Bakoshes, that we ask for everything we could think of. We're asking for health, we're asking for Das, for Panosa, for everything that we uh, Yid needs. The most important thing that a Yid needs is not mentioned in the Tfilos Shemin Esra. What, what, you know, how, how much money and how much health a person gives and sacrifices to have Erlich Yiddish children? And it doesn't, there's no tefillah asking directly for Erlich Yiddish children, that we should have children and that the children should be B'nai Torah, should be Oiv Hashem, should be Balamida, it's all the things that we're asking at Tefillah Shalom. Why is this only once a year? It should be in the Shem And especially, you know, the Gemara Baruch says that many halachas of tefillah we learn from Chana. Yeah, Kama Hilchus Gavris, we learn from Chana, we learn so many halachas from the tefillah of Chana. Chana was mispalo for children. That's what she was davening for, that she should have children, it should be a, a child, it should be, you know, she should grow up to be a Shmuel Novi, Shekel Kamesh of Ahar, and that all comes from Tfilas Chana. So Tfilas Chana is all about children, and the Erlich of children, and, and we're not asking for that. 
How come we're not asking a Shem So there are Terutsim that it's Merumas here and there, but why isn't there? It should be at least one bracha, a complete bracha that we're davening for children. And there's many answers to that, but one of them, the Mishnah Burin Simon Mem Zayin and Hilchas Berchas Atoyer brings that the Loshan is there, but Tomit Tia Tfilas Av Ve'em Al You always have to daven, always, Tomit, always. A father and mother should always daven to Hashem that their children should be Erelcha children. He writes, and, and especially by Bahar of No and by two other places in davening that we had, we were mentioned, but it's Tomid to Yitzvah Hashem. You know, if a person davens, with, you know, for, for Panosa, you have to daven for Panosa. You can't just do a shtadlis, we have to daven. But you've daven three times a day, you You know, if you daven three, you ask three times. Uh, you know, you could daven the whole day. Halavai she spalodem kolayim. The Gemara says halavai a person should daven the entire day. But if you daven three times a day, you are yotze. You ask for refuah. You ask for health three times a day. Yes. If you're going to ask for children three times a day, you are not yotze. It's not enough. The Mishnah Bira Paskins tumid. It's always has to be constantly every minute of the day. We should daven and ask the Rebbeinu Shalom for the children should be erlech yiddish. The children should be tumid chachamim of the Hashem yirei shemayim. In mid- bala midas. So that's number one. If you start the day, you start off with that tefillah, with pouring the heart out to the Rebbein Shalom. Our children should be Eilich Yiddish children. If not, that's what that answers that question. How come sometimes we see Eilich parents, Tamid Chachamim, find the people, and their children don't, don't go in their way? That's what the Gemara is saying. The second point is in Berchas HaToyra, we say, Vaharivno Hashem Alekeinu. Yiddishkeit Torah mitzvah should be sweet, should be geschmack, should be v'harevno, with the arevus. There's a, there's a Pesach in Pashat Netzavim. The Pesach says as I, that Re'ein Asata Lefnei Chayoyim, Hashem tells us, is giving us the choice, is giving us a menu, yeah? Sachayim v'satoyim, on one side we could choose life, we could choose good, and the some of us are Sarah. On the other hand, on the other side, there is death and bad. And the post goes on a few words, and then it says, as Shem is asking, I'm asking you, you should choose life. It's your choice. But I'm asking you to choose life. If you'll choose life, then you're going to live. You are in your children. The obvious question is, yeah. <laughs> if there's a choice of life and death, if, if you're going to choose life, you're going to live. What's the what's the term? Shtetan Haflo, Panam Yof is from the Haflo, and Rabbi Moshe Feinstein says some, something similar in Darish Moshe. There's two ways to approach and to, to be Mechanech for ourselves. When we look at Yiddishkeit, we look at the Tariag Mitzvahs, we look at our, our relationship with Hashem. One way is, this is Chaim, this is Lav Kihayim Chayayinu Ba'erich Yemeinu, Torah, Yiddishkeit, Shabbos, a Mitzvah, Shmir Shvir Samidah uh, every, this is life, this is Chaim, this is Toiv, this is good, this is Gewaldic. That's one way. And there's another way, is it's, the other way is Mavis Vera, where Chazashim will do an Avera, that's death, that's this Agehenim, this Rebbe will punish, and it's terrible and it's bad, and all the bad things comes because of the things that we do, the wrong things that we do. Both ways are effective. If, well, both, both will bring us to do the right thing. The Rebbe Shem is telling us, of course, the me- of doing bad, that's not even an option. The Rebbe Shem is telling us, I'm giving you a Torah. And in the Torah, you could find ways how to see Yiddishkeit, to see Torah and Mitzvahs, to see Yahweh Hashem as Chayim, as Toiv, as life, and as good. But you could also find many Mamar Chazal that will tell you how Mavis Ra is to do bad. I'm asking you, Zuk Tashem, that's a better option. You know why? That in order to give, to make sure, to guarantee that our children should want to continue and want to keep Torah and Mitzvahs and, and, and be excited and be happy with it, is if you focus, of course, here and there we have to mention there's, a, there's one of the Animamans, the, 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 we just had Pashas Bechikosai, but the focus should be Bechartu Bechayim, that's the focus. Yiddishkeit, Torah, Shabbos, Sabbat Sashem, Midas Toivus, that's all Chayim, that's life, that is Toiv. That's Vaharivno. Vaharivno Hashem Lakayim, we're asking Hashem and we have to do our best to give our children that feeling 
The Torah in Yiddishkeit, that is Toiv, that is Chaim, that's life, that's so gewaltig, that's so geschmack. Torah mitzvahs. That is Shalei Baruch Heba Torah Tchila. They didn't take that lesson from Vaharavno. How important it is in Chinuch and giving over at our children the sweetness and the geschmack and the goodness of Torah mitzvahs. Third point. We say, we're asking, I know that our children should be Yoidei Shemecho. Should know your name. Rahman we shouldn't know these things, but sometimes there are parents that are they're split, they get divorced, and a child grows up in the house of one of the parents, in the mother's house, let's say. But the father still, you know, supports, the, you know, sends money for, for food, for for everything. Everything that the child has comes from the father. If the child was is not gonna know that it comes from the father. It's just, you know, money's here, you know, the mother takes care of him. And there's food, and there's clothing, and there's, uh, you know, trips, and there's presents every all the time. But there's no father mentioned ever. So it, there's no relationship there. And, and if the father will ever ask from the child something, well, who are you? Where did you come from? Every child, every person has three parents, not just two. We have a father and a mother, and we have their bunch. Gimel shut from Ba'adam, there are three partners. There's a father and a mother, and there's a bunch it's important to tell, to teach the children, and and that should be part of our conversation, part of our our, our in 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 our day to day life. To know Yoyde Shemechas, the Rebbeinu Shalom is here. It's not just okay. We have to do this. We can't do this, and we're allowed. We're allowed to do this. You can't touch. This is Muktzah. This is this. There's a Rebbeinu Shalom. Hashem said that he can't do it. The Rebbeinu Shalom has to be here. Yoyde Shemecho. Yoyde is also a lotion of of love. Kiyadativ. That children should know. To live with that, that the Rebbein Shalom is here. It's not just uh, in school when they sing the song about Hashem is here, Hashem is there. It's part of life. This is this is it. This Gimel Shutvim Badim was a father and a mother of the Rebbein Shalom. If Yidin, if the kids grow up with Yoyde Shemecho, that the Rebbein Shalom is here in their lives, that everything that they have comes from Hashem, then of course they owe it. That's uh, that's that's the that's part of the of the of, of understanding that that's the relationship that Hashem when Hashem says Anoich Hashem Alikecho. I have a relationship with you. You know, I'm not just Hashem that created the world and you have to listen to me. Otherwise, if you know what's good for you, I gave you. I gave so much to you. We start of the day with Berchas Atoyer, Berchas Shachar. Hashem gave me. Hashem opens my eyes. Hashem Everything that I have is from the Rebbeinu Shlom. Yoyde Shemach. We know that it's the Rebbeinu Shlom that does everything to us. That that helps a lot. And if we don't have that Berchas Berchas Atoyer Tchila. Therefore, children sometimes don't grow up to be the way the parents says of the Gemara. And finally, there's a word, I think, from the Ksav Seifer, that Shalabarcha Batayr Tchilo. You know, we wish for our children everything. Everything. We want them to have everything that, that all the brachas. Beruchni is a begashmias. But the question is, what is the first bracha? You wish to someone, you say, you should be a Talmud Chochom, a Erlich Yid, a Yerush Shemayim, Midas, and a Oishir, and health, and all. Yeah, if you start off with Torah, the children feel, they see what is the most important to you. If you start with everything, you should be a Oishir, have a lot of money, and you should be healthy, and you should, and, and also a Talmud Chochom, and also a Yerush Shemayim. So they see, this is also, this is, this is not as important. The bracha that they gave to their children wasn't about, it wasn't chilo, that wasn't the first thing that came to mind, that they should be a Talmud Chochem, should be a Yerlech And children feel that. Even if you say after that, yeah, Torah is the most important thing, but they could see what your bracha is, what your wishes are. What is important to you? What is important to the parents? That the children could see right away. The Pacha de Gevart from Hara Wolfson, Rav Moshe Wolfson, the Zayn Gezint. The Gemara at the end of Masech the Sukkah, says that there was, uh, from the 24 Mishmaras of Kahuna, there was a Mishmar called Bilga. And this Mishmar, Bilga, was punished. The Chazal punished them, two things. The way how they split the... They, they got punished. And the Gemara brings two reasons why. Number one, because Miriam Bas Bilga, there was one of the, in the family of Bilga, and this Mishmar, Bilga, there was a, a, a one of the children, Miriam, and at the time that the Yavanim came into Israel, this Miriam converted and she became a Misyavan, Misyavanis. 
And she came into the base of Migdosh and she kicked the Mespeach and she said, Lucas, Lucas, at Musa to Mechal Mamon Shal Yisrael, you're just taking away money from Eden, you're eating up all the Karbonos, but you're not helping the Eden. The Chum heard that. They said, okay, we have to punish. Bilgad Gemara asks, okay, so there's one person, one Miriam, that's why you're punishing the entire, the hundreds, thousands and thousands of Kahanim are being punished because of that. And the Gemara says that if she said so, that means that she heard that at home. Okay, so her family and then the whole family, so the whole Bilga family got punished. Then the Gemara says another reason why this Bilga Mishmar was punished, nothing to do with Miriam, it's because they used to come late. It's to come late to the base of Mikdash. There's a time when they're supposed to come, start doing the Avayda, and they, they didn't come. They had to wait for them. They didn't come on time. Seems like two separate reasons, two different reasons. So the Kermish of Olfs, no, they're, they're all, it's one, in, it's one chat. Miriam said on the said these words on the Mizbech, the, the Mizbech is a Lucas, is a, is a wolf. And the Gemara says that she heard that by her parents. Not necessarily that the parents ever said those words. That Mizbech is a Lukus, the Mizbech is a wolf. Then how did Kahanim, Heilige Kahanim, Aldei Kanecha, Gedoshim? No, the Chazushim, they never said that. But this Miriam saw one thing. She saw that coming to Pesamik, she could come late. Going to the doctor's office, you have to go on time. To the airport, we have to go on time. There's a, you know, you have to go to the play, you have to go on time. No, Pesamik, is okay. You know, it's called for nine o'clock. So nine o'clock, we'll start thinking of going. She saw what is important, what is not important. That that gave her the impression that the Besamikdash is all it's all a Lucas, it's all a, it's all a wolf, it's not real. It, it's Baruch Abatayr Tchila is not just what you say and what you it's it's the the way of life. If parents are like see Yiddishkeit as that is Tchila, this is the this is the foremost most important thing is Tayr Yiddishkeit Elichkeit. Even without, before you even start saying something. This is what the Gemara there tells us. Miriam was Bilga, before the parents said a word, she already got that impression. What is important, what is not important. By us being, seeing Torah and Yiddishkeit, seeing Abedus Hashem, seeing a Mitzvah, seeing Midas Toivus as the most important thing in our lives and acting that way, this is how the children could see that this is what's important and they want to do. They want to, you know, they want to make their parents happy. And they're going to go in that way. So this is Shalai Baruch Batayrit Chila, and obviously the opposite, it will be Mavarach Batayrit Chila, obviously the davening, going through the four things, the davening and asking Hashem, the Tfilos HaShalah, and Tomatit, Tfilos Ava Emel Benayim, shall always keep on davening, constantly davening for our children. And the Vaharavno, the sweetness, trying our best to instill the Geshmak and the sweetness of Torah Mitzvahs. The Yoyda Shemecha, to talk, to know Hashem is in our lives, Hashem is giving us everything. And the most important thing is to, to, to be, to be that, those people, that Torah and Yiddishkeit and Erlichkeit is the most important thing. That is Tchilo, that's for and foremost, that's the most important part. That That's everything. That's everything. That's Chayenu. That's our life. And without will be Zaychem Ertz Hashem to have children. Bonem v'nei bonem. Oisikim v'toyir v'mitzvahs. Kaloni yoyde shemecho. V'loim de teres echel l'shmo. Shev nachas v'ar children. V'shev v'zaychem v'kurev. Seviyus m'sheich. Seviyus m'sheich. Seviyus m'sheich. Seviyus m'sheich. Seviyus m'sheich. Seviyus m'sheich.